Welcome to Rosh Hashanah before Rosh Hashanah part 16. Today we begin the fourth and final chapter of Masech Rosh Hashanah. We begin with the first Mishnah where the Mishnah discusses the famous concept of Rosh Hashanah that falls out on Shabbos. It says the Mishnah, Yom Tov Rosh Hashanah Shechaliyo Yis the Yom Tov of Rosh Hashanah that fell out on Shabbos, but Mikdosh Hayutokim, they would blow the shofar in the base of Mikdosh, in the temple, of Eloi Bamadina, but not anywhere else. Mishachar of Beis Amigdash, when the Beis Amigdash was destroyed and the Sanhedrin was transferred to Yavne, Hiskin Rabbi Yochanan ben Zakkai, so Rabbi Yochanan ben Zakkai instituted, Sheyiyu toikin b'chol nokem sheyesh b'ay beistin, that they should blow the shoifer anywhere where there's a beistin. Omar Rabbi Lozer, Rabbi Lozer says, No, lo hiskin Rabbi Yochanan ben Zakkai, elo be Yavne bilvad. The Yochanan ben Zakkai only instituted that concept in Yavne where there was the main primary Sanhedrin, the proper Supreme Court. Omrulloi, they said to him, no, Echad Yavne, whether it would be Yavne, the Echad Kol Mokkum Mashiach Ba Beistin, or anywhere would it be a Beistin similar to Yavne, Shoifra could be blown even on Shabbos. The Gemara, of course, explains that the reason that we don't blow Shoifra on Shabbos is because someone might come to carry the Shoifra, and therefore it's a decree, it's a Xerah from the Rabbana not to blow Shoifra on Rosh Hashanah, if it fell out on Shabbos. But in the base of Migdash, it was okay. The base of Migdash, people wouldn't, wouldn't carry. They'd be careful. And similarly, in a base din, people would be reminded and not carry the shoifer on Rosh Hashanah that fell out to be on Shabbos. Mishnah Beis, second Mishnah. Now Yerushalayim had something that Yavne didn't have. Even though Rabbi Yochanan and Zakeh said that in Yerushalayim, in the base of Migdash, they blew the shoifer. And similarly, they blew it in Yavne, where there was a big Sanhedrin after the destruction, but Yerushalayim and Yavne were different. Says the Mishnah Hasso, that when it came to Yerushalayim, Shekol ir shehiroyeh v'shoymaya sekroyvo v'yecholo lovay. Any neighboring city that could see Yerushalayim, hear it, was close to it, or was, could come to it easily, token they would also be included in the heter and the permissibility of blowing the shofar. Or be Yavne, but in the city, in the Yavne, in the Beistin, the hoyu token el be Beistin bilvad there, the concept of blowing shofar even on Shabbos was limited to the basting itself and it was only permitted in the actual basting. Ksiva Vachsima Tova, Shanata Ban, have a good day.